Welcome back, my beautiful, lovely angel. Oh my God, it has been so long. It has been so long. It has been a hot minute. I'm really excited to be back. Um, I have a lot of stuff brewing in my brain that I'm excited to share with you guys, um, that I'm super passionate about sharing with you guys and I can't wait. I can't wait. I've been thinking about making this video for a while because this is something that I talk about constantly in my daily life. There's so many ins and outs of this. But I think where I should just begin is what is the key, what is the big secret to manifesting whatever you want as quickly as possible? Because when it comes down, when it all boils down to it, it is literally a simple, simple answer. And I'm kind of tired of it being overcomplicated. I'm tired of talking about it and there's so many like questions going on. Like, no, it's simple. Just, just literally lay, like, listen. There's one thing to understand and you've freaking mastered this entire thing. Imagining creates reality. That's it. Imagining creates reality. All you have to do is select what inner thoughts you want to create and reflect out there into your 3D world select those thoughts, think them, repeat them, imagine them, and they're created. It's literally all about just living in the end and living in that desired reality, that desire of things that you want to have, what, what you want your life to be like, live, walk around in your day, think thoughts that confirm that, and that's it. That's all you have to do. That's literally all you have to do. The first step is defining what it is that you want. Because a lot of the times we walk around here and we're like, oh yeah, well no, it's obvious. Why wouldn't I want a million dollars? Why wouldn't I want to be dating this person? Why wouldn't I want this? Why wouldn't I want a house? Why wouldn't I want this nice car? Like, duh, of course I would want all these things. But no, if you're not actively thinking of those things, how do you expect them to come to you quickly? Like, yeah, maybe eventually things will start unfolding and unraveling for you, but you need to saturate your mind. You need to get clear with yourself on what you want and the fact that you want it right now. I don't want this one day. I want this now. And that's another thing. Um, people talk all the time about like divine timing and waiting for, you know, the right timing when God will bring things to you, just sit back and wait and spe no, <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Take control. If you want something right now, you can fully say, I want $10,000 by the end of this week. And as long as you believe that that is possible, that if you say something, you can actually get it. As long as you truly believe in your mind, all of your reoccurring thoughts, turn into assumptions, turn into what you believe about the world, turn into what is reflected out there in your world. Manifestation is all about you. This is your world, we're all just living in it. Well, this is my world, not y'all just living in my world, but <laughs> you know what I mean. It's all an experience from the eyes of you. Define what you want, think about what, things that you want, don't be afraid to sit there and, and like let your negative thoughts come in. Don't be afraid of your negative, your negative thoughts can't manifest into your reality just by you thinking of them a couple of times. They only will manifest if you actually start to believe that things are true. Okay, so like, yes, you can manifest negative things. You're manifest, this is the thing. Manifestation is not some voodoo, witchcraft, putting affirmations under your pillow and then they magically come true or making honey jars to make people like you or thinking, oh, like, like a wish upon a star, like I want, a hundred dollars. Okay, well you want a hundred dollars? Manifest a hundred dollars. Okay, I want a hundred dollars, I want a hundred dollars, I want a hundred dollars. Like that's not how it works. We are manifesting every single moment of every day from the moment you open your eyes. No, from the moment you close your eyes at night, you're sealing in the world in which you know and by the morning once you've opened your eyes again, you've already created all those assumptions in the middle of the night when your mind was in sads and stayed akin to sleep and that goes straight into your subconscious and that is what creates your outside world so you what all you need to do is change your thoughts consciously during the day and that will go into your subconscious rewire your subconscious reflect into your outside world just keep 
an eye on your thoughts. Keep reaffirming the things that you want. Everything that you've ever experienced in your entire life is an assumption that you have created. It's an experience that you have believed to be true and pulled into you to reflect. So stop sitting there and letting the world happen to you and letting your thoughts create shitty manifestations. Consciously choose what you want and stick by that. And when your mind starts to wander into all those like shitty negative circumstances and bad things that you don't want to see, flip that, affirm against that. Affirmations are just your thoughts. Say you, say you just, you want money. Okay. Say, say you want money and you're, you're broke. You're literally living in that mindset. I'm broke. I'm broke. I'm, well, I don't want to say that shit. So anytime you're walking around, anytime you check your bank account and it's not looking too good, um, anytime you want to buy something, but you're like, no, I can't afford that. And I'm not saying go like splurge and buy everything when you don't have any money for it. But that's when you need to catch yourself. You catch your thoughts and you say, no, actually, I have thousands of dollars in the bank. I never have to worry about money. I have thousands of dollars in the bank. I never have to worry about money. I have thousands of dollars in the bank. I never have to worry about money. Oh my God, I have thousands of dollars in the bank. I never have to worry about money. That's how you flip your thoughts. Thinking that thought over and over and replacing the negative, turning that positive one into the new assumption. So now next time you think about money, you automatically think, oh, I have thousands of dollars in the bank. I never have to worry about money. That is when your 3D reality, your world has to start reflecting that back at you. And next thing you know, you're going to have thousands of dollars in the bank and you're not going to have to worry about money. And that goes with so many things that goes with any desire that you want. Specific people, looks, grades, material things. Yes, you can have all of these things. You can have in anything you want. You can have anything you want. Just get those affirmations out of a jar <laughs> and put them in your mind and repeat them until they become the dominant thoughts around the subject. That's it. Control your thoughts, control your imagination. Imagining creates reality. Imagination, um, your imagination creates your world around you. Your imagination, your, your world around you is just a reflection of your imagination. That's why you can sit there and imagine something happening over and over and over and over that you created off the top of your head and it happens. You've already seen it happen. Your world has no choice but to make it happen now. Religion teaches you to have faith in the unseen. This is the same thing. Have faith that it will show. Have faith that there is something out there have faith that it's there for you. Have faith that everything is out there to serve you. To <laughs> it has to. It's literally a law. The law of assumption. <laughs> what is the law of assumption? The law of assumption is assuming something and then it has to create and reflect in your reality. That's it. Your assumptions create your reality. And you know, this can be kind of difficult for people because, you know, it's like, Okay, I can sit here and I want to change my assumptions, so I'm assuming all day, oh, you know, like, actually I'm rich, I'm wealthy, um, et cetera, et cetera. But then you might have this, like, deep assumption inside of you, which most of society has, that tells you, you have to work for money. Or you have to be a business owner to actually create wealth. Anything like that, that you've been told, that you've been conditioned to believe, and now you believe, you are going to have to override that. And how do you override that? Thinking against it, flipping your thoughts. Every time you come up with some, every time you come up with that thought in your mind, you have to tell yourself that that's not true. That's not true for you anymore. I was lied to. And that's like literally one of my biggest pet peeves is when people, when people try to tell me anything, <laughs> no, like when people say all these cliche things, like all men are cheaters, um, marriages are hard, but it's really just conditioning yourself. It's conditioning your mind. Um, and like, how do you do that? 
I'll tell you how you don't do it. You don't do it by having two glasses of water and then fucking pouring in one water and, and drinking the water and putting your affirmations in one water to get rid of the water and put the good things in you through the other. That's <laughs> Affirming. Affirmations are your thoughts. So affirming is saying your that same couple of thoughts over and over until they become assumptions. Visualizing, like I said, imagining creates reality. Imagine the world that you want. Imagine the situations that you wanna see and loop them over and over and over. This is the same with affirming, affirming and visualizing. Loop it over and 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 over. It's like the same thing that they tell you with scripting. 55 by five, write something 55 times for five days in a row and if you miss a day, then it's not gonna happen. Not to that extent, no, but yes, you can script things that you want and not necessarily write them 55 times. Like nobody wants to write something 55 times. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. It's not about how many times you do the thing. It's about how many times you're saturating your mind with that thought. Write it one time and then read it 55 times. If you need 55 times. Yeah, it's not about the technique. It's not about all that. It's about changing your thoughts. Turning your thoughts into assumptions. And your assumptions have no choice but to conform. Your assumptions have no choice but to reflect into your outer world. Don't give it a choice. The only thing that can give it a choice to work or not is you saying that it might not work or it might work. No, everything, I'm telling you, everything, everything is you. If you, sat, if you did say 55 by five is the only thing that works for me, then that would be the only thing that worked for you because that's your assumption. Do you see what I'm saying? It's all you. Whatever you want to believe to be true, believe it to be true, have faith to make it true, that it will become true, and watch it reflect into your current reality. Whatever you want to happen in your future, think of it, it will, be, it will show. It has no other choice. As soon as you assume something to be true, it has no other choice but to become true because you've chosen it. it you can't desire something, you cannot choose something out there that doesn't already exist in one reality or the other. If you have a desire, you can choose it. You can make it happen, you can live it. So keep choosing it over and over, keep choosing it and it's yours. You are entitled to it. You are entitled to everything that you want by your birthright, by your state of conscious, by you being consciously aware of everything. You are entitled to every experience that you could ever dream up in this world. It's not about doing everything perfect. It's not about finding the next best technique from law of attraction teachers that they like to say that shit. It's not about like, like there's no other law. This isn't a constantly evolving thing like trying to find the new best way to do this. No, like that's literally it. It's established. Assume what you want to be true and it must be true. It's, re it's really simple when it comes down to it. However, if you're not familiar with any of this stuff, this is gonna seem like, what the fuck is she talking about? Um, I intend that this was helpful. I will definitely be doing more videos where I can break this down a little bit more and be more concise and precise with exactly what I'm talking about. Um, because I truly, I really do wanna help. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you wanna reach out to me, send me an email. We can chat, we can talk about this. Let's figure, let's figure your shit out. Make sure to like, share, comment, and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next, the next thing. Okay, bye.